Hello, my name is Sarah Payne and I'm a huge fan of embroidery machines. I love being able to play with embroidery machines because it enables me to personalise uh, projects for my own home, for friends and family and things like that. Now, um, one thing I think that sometimes concerns people about embroidery machines is the size of an embroidery okay now i don't want you to think of a small size hoop as a limitation really the only limitation is your imagination it's how you use those embroideries so um, i have in front of me here a cushion that i have stitched with um, an embroidery machine and you can see it's quite large actually this design is about 12 inches but i've done it on a machine that only has a hoop that allows four inches embroidery. So how do you do that? That's what I'm gonna show you here. That's what, what I'm gonna show you, how to take a machine that has a small hoop to create bigger embroideries. And it's a lot simpler than you think. Okay, so I've got an embroidery machine here. This is the Brother machine, and it comes with a hoop, and it also comes with this little fella here, your, um, your grid, your marking grid, and this is the secret to success when you start thinking about making embroideries larger uh, than the frame. Because what we want to do is we want to be able to continually re-hoop, but keep everything central and stable. So the first thing to do is I've got my fabric piece here and I've got some stabilizer on the back. Now you do need stabilizer with an embroidery machine because if you start stitching without it, what happens is the stitches pull in like this and your design will pucker and it doesn't matter how beautifully you line it up, it's going to look messy. So for something like the, um, the cushion here, what I did was I got my original piece of fabric and I marked out the square. I worked out how big these elements were and I marked them accordingly. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to get a marker. You do need to check your particular marker to make sure that it is going to disappear, whether it's a wash away um, marker or a chalk pen or whatever. Don't use air erasable because you might get halfway through your design, have to answer the phone and when you come back, your lines have all disappeared. It's really annoying. So uh, you can use a ruler or if you're quite steady handed you could do a straight line that's a little bit wobbly but you can see I've given myself a line <laughs> there now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to put it into my embroidery hoop so embroidery hoops are adjustable just open the screw at the end there and I'm going to place this in and then I put my frame on the top now I have loosened off my hoop because at the moment I still need to be able to uh, manipulate my fabric so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shape now with this particular one with the brother you'll see it says ABC in the bottom right hand corner you need to put that in so it's in the bottom right it's no good putting them in this way because that won't be central okay that's when you look at it that is upside down so uh, you do want to make sure that it says ABC just there, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maneuver my fabric until that center line here matches up with my drawn line. So I'm gonna move that, just give it a gentle tug, keep carefully moving it. And if I had a start point, so for example, if I knew that my design was exactly four inches, I would put a start line here maybe, so I'd need to make sure that this lined up as well. And then my design is going to be perfectly straight. So I'm just going to pull that across a little bit. And then once we've done that, I can tighten this. And you should see that the drawn line matches up with the line in our embroidery and now when I take that out when I come to actually create my embroidery as long as I keep it central in my square I can stitch my design here take the hoop out of the machine um, take it out the fabric out of the hoop and then move that line further this way so imagine that I've stitched all of that and it's all beautifully done we then loosen it off again. Most embroideries do come with a screwdriver to help you 
loosen or tighten because you do want it drum tight. So what we would do then is pop it out and then move the fabric further down. Need to loosen it up a little bit more. There we go. Put that frame back in, same way round, so it still says ABC, and then manoeuvre your fabric. So I need to, now for the fabric to go slightly to the left. until that all lines up with that original line. And then when we come to stitch the second element, and tighten that up obviously, when we come to stitch the second element, it's going to be exactly in line with the first part. So that's what I did with this, with the cushion. So I gave myself a center line all the way round and um, I could then see where exactly I needed to place the fabric, the marked fabric into my hoop to keep that continued design. So even though these designs are a maximum of four inches, I could put this along the bottom of curtains, I could put it on uh, bed linen, I could do it around a whole duvet cover if I wanted to do it. I could do 40 of them in a row um, to do a border of a quilt. And um, the fact that my embroidery machine only allows me to work with four inch designs is no longer a limitation. It's a feature. Thank you.